Are you a new player to RF4 and you're having trouble finding spots? As you may only have Mosquito unlocked, Winding, and maybe Old Berg unlocked, and you're stumped. You can't find an active spot. You cannot progress your level. You don't know what to do. Well, that's what I'm here for today. I'm going to show you some active spots at Winding Rivulet to hopefully boost you on your way to some higher levels. So without any further ado, let's jump right on in into today's episode and let's show you spot number one. All right, so after spot number one is 99-121. This is where we are on the map. We are in sector F. That would be F3 is where we're at. You're going to have to cross this bridge at spawn point here to get to the spot. Um, at this current spot, I caught myself last night a trophy gudgeon. I caught a few trophy ruffies. And I caught a freshwater crayfish a couple weeks ago at the spot. So all in all, it is a very good spot. All you need is red worms tiny hook 24 or 22 it will work just fine too um a 9.4 kilogram fluocarbon liter 60 centimeters if you have problems getting 60 centimeter length come talk to me give me a dm in game i'll help you out with some liters um if you want to go lower than this you can we might have a better bite rate if you go to like maybe seven kilogram but just to be safe i put 9.4 kilogram on um, for the weight, you don't need this weight, 130 gram. This is the most expensive weight in the game. All you need is like a 30, 40 gram weight. It will do you just fine. So yeah, this is the setup right here. Anyone that just started the game can get the setup easily. So now let's see what we can get. All three rods except for line number one. Even though I think there's a fish on line number one as well. But let's see what we get here. Yeah, so last night. Oh, look at that. First fish is a donuts roughy. <laughs> Not a big one, but... <laughs> Uh, that's okay. First phase of the Donut Ruffy. All right, you love to see that. Good start. All right. I'll show you another spot that's active once we fish here for a little bit. Yeah, so I caught a trophy good gin here last night. Um, I, I got about two, three trophy ruffies last night here. And then a couple weeks ago, I got a trophy crayfish from the spot. So all in all, very active spot. And there's a good gin for you right there. So if you're in a hunt for, for good gins, this is a really active spot for them right now. Um, if you have success at these spots, again, let me know down in the comment section down below. Tell me how you did, because I'd love to hear it. Love to see what you guys and gals can catch. So yeah, this is uh, spot number one. Very active. Um, when, when, it, when it comes nighttime, though, you can stick at this spot. But I don't know, it's weird. If you stick at this spot, you're not going to catch any r regular ruffy. Well, you might, but not normally. It's really weird because at nighttime, you have to switch from this spot. And you got to cast over these weeds right here. Then you'll catch the ruffy during the night. For some reason, why the ruffy don't really bite at this spot, I, I I don't know because it's it's pretty much the same spot here or there. But I don't know. That's just what the game wants. So you got to do what it wants. What's this one? We got a bream. So there's a lot of bream here. And it's not the worst in the world, especially if you're a new player. You want to keep every fish possible or if you want you i'm not sure if you'll be high enough level yet but you can carve them into fish fish pieces too so what we got here a bream you see even though this bream right here may go for like one silver you know it all adds up or maybe 50 cents i'm not sure how much they go for little ones but but when you're a low level player you got to keep everything because every single silver matters and counts so Okay, because it is 1957, we might switch up to the spot right here. I did come here a little late. <laughs> um, yeah, so hopefully a lot of you can get some trophy donut ruffies. I've been going for one forever, but I caught a few 200 grams, 150 grams, 170, but not yet a trophy size. But you can also catch nace here. I've caught some pretty big naces at this spot as well, so... A lot of mixture and variety of fish. Oh, and also on top of everything, what I caught was this is with a donut trimmer. My last video, the spot I mentioned last video, this is where I caught my zebra mussel. I was pretty happy. I was not expecting it. But I did get a trophy zebra mussels at the Seversky Donuts River spot. So, yeah, if you want to check that one out, you can go watch my previous video. Um, yeah, pretty nice zebra mussel right there. All right. Oh, we got a bite on line number one. All right. What do we got here? Another bream. Okay, you know what? 
Uh, I'm going to act like a new player here, and I'm going to act like I, I like the fish. <laughs> like I said, every silver, silver counts. A lot of bream. You don't normally get this many bream. I haven't caught this many yesterday or the day before, but maybe they're just rolling in, I guess. Who knows? All right, so we're going to switch the spots up. This is a really active spot. If you start here like at 7, 6 a.m. until like maybe like 20 o'clock, you would get a lot of fish and a lot of silver. So because it is getting to nighttime, we are going to switch to this spot right here. I know it's going to be popped up on screen already, but it is clip 10, if you're wondering. All right, so put those two bad boys in the water. Let's get the third one. Oh, we got a fish on. Oh, nope. Nope, the game scanned me. It robbed me. Wow. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and put this bad boy in the water as well. Can be a little tricky to set these up. Tiny little spot right here. All right, so this is the roughy spot right here. Um, when it gets back to you in the morning, I would go back to the spot right here. You can also test it out, you know, experiment for yourself. Try this spot at nighttime. See what you can get. What I found out is this spot right here, if you cast... Where, what, what direction is this? Kind of east, northeastern direction. You get a lot of roughy, a lot of river mussels, and some zebra mussels. If you cast this way towards um, um, southeast, you get a lot of gudgeons. Like, a lot of gudgeons. This spot is where I caught my trophy gudgeon last night. Um, so yeah, if you want to trophy, try to go for trophy gudgeons, um, naces, and all that, I would fish here during the day. If you want to go for some river mussels, zebra mussels, and some roughies, I would aim this direction. Yeah, it's very weird, I know. I'm not sure. <laughs> Just like a maybe two meter distance, you get different varieties of fish. It's really weird. All right, what do we got in line two? Like I said, this spot, you get a lot of river mussels. A lot. Um, if you cast this way, you won't get like maybe maybe one river mussel a night if you cast this direction. I don't know. It's just so weird. <laughs> Depends on what way you do. Um, you cast, you get different fish. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. We got and also too, if you guys and gals want to know if you got a fish on, because I'm using cart rods, they are heavy built rods and reels. The little fish aren't really going to be noticeable on the rod because you know you need a kind of a lot to bend it. If you use a regular feeder rod, you can set options to you know if you want it more sensible or not sens sensible. Um, so like a small fish, you can set it on a feeder rod where a small fish, if it yanks your line, it's going to yank hard. Because you can set it like that. But unfortunately, with carp rods, you cannot do that. So any little fish that gets on here, most likely it's not going to let the blinker, I mean rod, know. So the blinker is not going to go off. So if you want to know <clears throat> how to make sure you have a fish on, okay, so you press G. You're going to have this. So you press the I right here. And if the menu starts glitching out, that means you got a fish on. Just in case you didn't know that. All right, this is our first roughie of the night. Look at that fat boy. Man, that's sexy looking, aren't they? What's up, dude? What's up? All right. Thank you for biting the hook. I do appreciate it. You're going to get a lot of roughies at the spot. I mean, a lot. W would this spot be better than the Seversky Donuts River for roughie? I don't know. It's probably equal. Um, the only benefit of using this spot instead of going to the Seversky Donut spot is you're going to get a lot of river mussels and more zebra mussels than you would at Seversky. Seversky, you're going to get more pumpkin seed some fish that replaces the rump mussels. So it all depends what you want. Um, you know, if you're going for zebra mussels, if you're going for, uh, um, uh, what's it called? Man, I lost the name of them. <laughs> uh, river mussels. I was like, okay, the zebra. What else is there? <laughs> so river mussels too. So if you want to target them, I would recommend coming to this spot. Um, yeah, and even during the day. I know I said come back to this spot during the day, but if you are strictly targeting river mussels and zebra mussels, I would just leave your rods pointing this way for the whole entire day, day or night. Because, I don't know, they just don't really bite right here. I'm, I'm just, it's so weird to me. All right. Another 70 gram Rafi, like, holy... All right, pop this bad boy in there. 
yeah, you know, when I got that trophy zebra muzzle, I was pretty stoked, not gonna lie. I was really stoked. And I um also want to say to you is that we have reached 600 subscribers. Like, oh my god, we have gotten 100 subscribers in just under two weeks. You guys are amazing. I don't know what I would do without you. Once again, thank you so much for um, supporting me out. Um, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't from you guys and girls. So thank you once again. The giveaway stream is tomorrow. So remember to mark your calendars. Put the date in there. Um, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when the giveaway will be. Um, it's going to be a little different than what I mentioned just because I messed up. I bought a lot of gift cards that um, can only be redeemable in your region. So in, for instance, um, the ones I bought can only be redeemed in Canada. I'm so stupid and dumb at the same time. I should have known that. I don't know. In my head, okay, I got to go buy gift cards. I got to go buy gift cards. So I go out and my mind's not you know, in the right place, I go buy all these random gift cards, and I come back and read on each one from the back of the card, and they all say, can only be redeemed in your region, like, oh my god, no, so I literally wasted probably $150, $200 on gift cards that I can't even use, so, I did buy some Steam gift cards in there, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the Steam gift cards out of that pile, and I'm going to redeem, like, I got $20 ones. So each giveaway, I'm going to redeem a Steam gift card of $20 onto my account. Because unfortunately, there's no way to give it to you. That's my apologies. I'll make sure for a 1,000 subscribers, I'll make sure there'll be an actual good one with gift cards that can be redeemed over the seas. But I'm stupid and didn't buy the ones that can be redeemed <laughs> over the seas. Um, it's more digitally. If you bought digital gift cards like online, that's redeemable worldwide. Just not actual gift cards. So... So for a thousand subscribers, what I'm going to do instead of 500, instead of buying the gift cards, I'm just going to go online and say if someone won $10, I'm just going to go online and buy $10 gift card and send it their way. Because online it is redeemable or it's, it's sendable worldwide. So for a thousand subscribers, um, I'll do it right. I'm so sorry. I do apologize. But for this giveaway tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon, um, I'll be giving away $20 with the gold. And unfortunately, because of the Canadian dollar being so bad, um, $20 Canadian will only get you around 13 USD gold. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't think the convert is right. Like the exchange rate is right on that. I, I don't think so. Canadian dollar is bad, but it's not that bad. So I'm not sure if that's right. I'm going to get scammed. I'm not sure. But yeah, $20 Canadian will get you around $13 in gold in USD. Which is, I don't think is accurate, but whatever. It could be. I don't know. Um, another river muscle. There we go. So, yeah. Unfortunately, um, if you win the raffle tomorrow, you'll get $20 Canadian with the gold. Which means it's only going to be 13 USD. Like, I'm kind of upset over that because I want to give you guys a lot more than 6.5 gold each. Like, like $20 Canadian. If it was actually $20 I could get, I could probably get over 10 to 12 gold for you guys each. But... Unfortunately, this game goes by USD dollars, so if I exchange $20 worth, I'm only going to get $13 worth of USD. So, it is what it is. You know, it's still free gold. You still get 6.5 gold. It's still a lot of gold. So, hopefully, all of you will be there and join me for that stream. All right. So, let's get back to the, the video here. All right. Oh, that was so close to a trophy. I thought it was 110 gram roughy. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, if you stick here at this spot for a couple days, you will get a lot of trophies. Well, maybe not a lot. Depends on your luck. But you will definitely get some. Another 49 gram Ruffy. So I'm hoping this spot will help you lower level players out. So hopefully you'll get enough fish. You can sell it for a lot and then uh, get your equipment that you need. So yeah, we'll finish this spot out for the night. And in the morning, we will try spot number two um i don't think spot number two has been shown in any video on youtube i'm not sure i could be wrong but we'll see um it's kind of in the boonies the spot number two like it's way out in the boonies so we'll see but come on ruffy oh we got something in line one i just didn't see it i'm blind oh it's Okay, you know what? I was not expecting that. A trophy river muscle. 
Okay. I'm just shocked right now. I am speechless. I just did not expect it to be a Rhythm Muscle Trophy. All right. Take a screenshot of that. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate that chat. All right. Oh, what kind of cast is that? Come on. Oh, someone else got it. Someone got a Gibble Cup trophy. Nice. Nice one. Hey, come on. Put some oomph into that cast, man. Come on. There we go. Like, my, like I said in the other video, my guy's kind of weak, so. All right. So there you go. And it's also white brain you can get from the spot. Like, this spot is active. Um, so I guess you can get trophy river muscles out of the spot as well. <laughs> All right, so I got a trophy zebra muscle, and I do have now a trophy river muscle. I got them all now. Sweet. So we go to winding. I got, there's my river muscle. Awesome. That is that is really good news. Come on, fish, bite the hook. All right, I'm just going to edit the video out until we get a bite here. Oh, do we got something online with number one? No, we don't. See, sometimes the menu does glitch and there's nothing on, but majority of the time when the menu glitch, you got something on. There's a wide eye bream too. Like, just a lot of different varieties of fish. Like, that's cool looking fish. Like, really nice. All right, it is morning and uh, we caught a lot of fish. I didn't show it on video just because, you know, it's kind of boring reeling in 50 gram roughy, 60 gram roughy all night, but we got a lot of them. We got some noisy frogs in the background here. I'm not sure where they are. They might be over there or somewhere. I'm not sure. All right, let them do what they want. And uh, yeah, so let's show my cute net here. We caught, go to uh, roughy. We caught a lot of roughy during the night. Um. River mussels, we caught a few river mussels along the way too during the night. Um, but all in all, so far, maybe like 10 minutes, we got, how many fish is that, 25? Not too bad. And I did throw out a couple fish earlier in the video too. I didn't mean to. I'm just so used to throwing out trash fish. But when you guys uh, are low level, you got to take everything you can get. Um, so I would, I would have a few more fish if I didn't throw out the others. But all right, so I'm going to leave it until probably around 5 o'clock. So 10 minutes in game time. And then I'm going to move to spot number two. Oh, we got something on here. Oh, boy. What is it? A perch. All right. So the potential trophy perch as well at the spot. You don't catch too many of those, which is good. Because you don't really want perch. They're kind of trash fish. Even for low-end players, you know, they don't give much silver at all. Kind of brutal. Oh, we got something else on this one. Okay, so perch. Within like, like 5 to 6 a.m. they're going to start biting a little bit. That's their active time, but don't worry about it. All right, well, it did say until 5 o'clock. All right, so let's reel it in now. We caught a few good fish here. Again, if I stay at this spot during the day through this way, I'd get a lot of naces. I'd get a lot of gudgeons. So let's head on to spot number two. All right, spot number two. We're at 105.99. Remember how I said it was in the boonies? Well, we are in the boonies. I'm not sure if anyone comes down here to fish, but I sure do. Right next to this broken, um, this fallen over tree over here, you just want to cast clip 10 with the same um, setup as the first spot. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, what is this? A bream. Almost a one kilogram bream. Okay. Not bad, I guess. Stop this bad boy in the water. And I did go ahead, because I forgot last stream to buy it. I did go ahead... And pick up the Vanga 31 kilogram drag. That is right. Spent like 32,000 silver. I went to uh, um, Volkov. They were sold out. I went to the Sea. They were sold out. I went to uh, uh, Mosquito Winding. They're all sold out. So I went to Tangaska River and they finally had some in stock there. So I had to pay a little more of a price at Tangaska, but not too much more. But every other place was sold out. So I didn't really have a choice. All right. We got um, line number three here. All right. So at this spot, you can catch a lot of crayfish, um, a lot of roughy, a lot of naces, some gudgeons, um, but basically a goodie bag mixture. What is this? Another bream? Yeah, 1.43 kilogram bream. All right, so you can get some pretty big bream out of this spot as well. Is there a fish on line number two? There is a fish on line number two. All right. What is this? And common roach. Okay, so common roach you'll also get out of this spot as well. 
Uh, I caught a couple trophy roaches at the spot. Not too many at all. But those are the kind of fish you kind of want to avoid. It's common roaches. Um, they're like perch. They don't give much XP at all or silver. But uh, yeah, so you get a lot of mixture variety at this spot. You kind of got to get everything. You get rear mussels, zebra mussels everywhere. All right, we got something on line number one here. And now the brain. All right, well, they're going to add up silver pretty quick. Oh, line, uh, it scammed me. I thought I had a fish on number two. I didn't. We do have something on line number three. Yes, we do. Common Roach. Okay. Well, you know what? I guess they add up, right? You can't complain. Not when you're a low-level player. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, what is... Okay, what is this? It's an Eid. A 1.0 Eid. Now, that is a beautiful fish. I forgot about that. So, Ides love this spot. I, I don't know why I forgot to mention that. But, yeah. So, this spot in particular, Ides, Ides like to... Uh, maybe they're, like, hiding under the, the bush or something. Hide under the on the brush. I'm not sure. But, yeah, you get a lot of Ides here. Alright, fish nine number three. We got a 101 gram ruffy. Like, oh, oh, 420 XP. Look at that. That's a sign for something. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Very nice. Alright, what do we got in line number two? Something juicy. No, that is not something juicy. Uh uh. <laughs> All right, so far we have 36 fish in the keep net. We've been here probably for 15 minutes, 10 minutes, no, probably more 15 minutes. You know, not too shabby. Um, I kind of uh, recorded at the wrong time because I did go in the winding at, like just about nighttime. Um, I kind of wanted to go at the other spot to more detail, you know, what you can catch during the day, but unfortunately, that's all right. <laughs> we got a bream. Okay. I'm I'm just curious how much silver we're gonna get here. Well, so far we're up 37 fish. I would have had probably around 42 fish, but like I said earlier, I did throw out a couple fish at the beginning of the video, like I always do, because I'm just so not at this when I'm when I'm high level, like this level 40, I like just throwing out all the trash fish, because if I fish a spot, I'm gonna fish there for an, probably an entire real life day. So I don't want to waste my keep net in a bunch of um, low end fish. And uh, I don't feel like going back to the um, fish market and selling them every time. So that's why I quick sell them or uh, not quick sell. <laughs> um, get rid of them or don't keep them because, uh, yeah, trash fish, I don't care about. But when you're lower level players, you have to um, keep every single fish possible because you need every single penny you can get. All right, it is cloudy today. The spot usually works better when it is sunny for some reason. But that it is all right. We got fish on my... Oh, no. It... Oh, my goodness. I am getting scammed over here. I said I had a fish on, and I didn't have a fish on. And I was stuck. Oh, my goodness. You got to love R4. All right. Ruin my cast. Now, cast again. Thank you. And then we have something on line number two. And now... Oh, it's white bream. We can also get white bream here. Yes. Right. I have caught burbots here as well. Very, very rare, but I have caught burbots. I've caught no catfish, so you don't, you don't, have, don't have to worry about catfish at this spot. There's a nace. Right, so the fish are coming out to play, but when it's overcast like this, in real life, it's really good when it's overcast like this. But in the game at this spot particularly, well, they don't really prefer cloudy. They like sunny, so they might be hiding under this log right now and... uh yeah, but that's all right. We'll still get a decent bite right here. Oh, we got something on line two and three. I'm the daddy. What are you? Another bream. All right. So I with this spot too, I find that every day is different. So like today, you get a lot of bream. Tomorrow, you probably get a lot of nace. The next day, you might get a lot of goodgens. You know, this spot really changes like every day. Oh, we got something on line one. 
Okay, that's a decent sized common roach. All right. Just to let you know, this spot loves to rob you with roaches. You're, you're going to get a lot of 1 kilogram, 1.1 kilogram roaches, and they're going to rob you off a trophy. There we go. Don't rob me this time. Thank you. Common roach. Who reached? Oh, nice. Uh, rats on that, coach. Level 34. That's a huge milestone. You unlock the sea. Enjoy the sea, my dude. Enjoy it. All right, fish, I'm going to need you to start waking up now, even though the bite rate is good. I just want more. I want better. Oh, we got something on line number one here. What is it? Hey, it's not fully uh, fit in the hook yet. Oh, we got, some oh, we got something um, on line number two. This game, man. Oh, my goodness. This game. There's no other game out there that will rob you this hard besides Fire <laughs> Yeah, just got to wait for a bite here. Oh, now there's something on line number two, I believe, right? It's moving. What What's going on with line number two? Is this like a... I have no idea what's going on with line number two. The line keeps moving. It's menus glitching out, telling me to go to fish on, but I don't. I'm not sure what's going on with line number two, but... Let's check out line number three here. What do we got? Bream? Okay. So if you want Bream, well, this is the spot to go to. You know, because there's a lot of bream at this spot, you could try out bream, you know, strictly for bream, like put a cottage cheese dough on, put some bream ground mix on, or garlic dough, whatever it may be, and try it out. I'm not sure how that will be, because it is active here for bream, so you could probably target bream with all that good stuff. Oh, there's a blue bream. That's a beautiful fish. All right, so blue brims in the mix as well as what you can catch here. Now, if you if you want river mussels or zebra mussels, I'd go back to the other spot I showed. Um, this is not really a spot for them, but ooh, what is this? Come, daddy. What are you? It's chub. It's a chub. All right, one point one. Decent size, I guess. All right, let's try to bite next. Oh, we got line number one going off here. Let's see, again, the line was moving. It was going across the water, and then it got nothing. What is going on here? There was something on there. Don't tell me there wasn't, because I saw that. Uh-uh. Ooh, what is this? What's going on here? Oh, we got. Oh, hallelujah. I almost broke my line. What is this? Come to daddy. A 2.9 kilogram bream. Now, this is what you want. That is a juicy, juicy fish right there. 2,900 XP. Damn. All right. That's what you want to see here. Bream, they go for it. They give you some decent XP, and they go for a lot of silver. So, what else we got here? Another Bream. Oh, my goodness. What is today with Bream, man? It w Bream was active at the spot before, but not this active. Like, I'm curious. If I put cottage cheese dough on... Or garlic, whatever it is, and put some bream ground bait on there. I'm, sh I'm pretty sure I could probably <laughs> target some trophy bream. Again, oh my, maybe um, <laughs> maybe the bream went down river, and then they kicked all the other fish that was under this tree out, and now the bream hiding under this tree. That's what it looks like, to be honest. That's definitely what it looks like. You see, now okay, you see that line moving? I swear, if there's nothing on here, I'm gonna lose my mind. All right, good. Uh, wow, that's the tiniest bream you could possibly get in the game. Damn, we got 24 XP. What map are we going to now, boys and girls? If we head to the sea, are we unlocking the sea or what? Like, that's uh, that's going to unlock every map for me. 24 XP, that is a lot. I'm just kidding. All right, let's, let's keep that. All right, throw this down. Oh, no, no, no. I want the light bulb to blink to make sure it's set up correctly. There we go. And uh, the chub, okay. See you later, coach. All right, so 50 fish in probably 20 minutes. See, you know, that is not the worst in the world. Not that much. And we got some trophies along the way. Well, one trophy at least. 
What is this? A chub. Okay. Hopefully we get some cafe orders in there as well to maximize the silver profit, but we will see. Yeah, because I don't have feeder rods, it's really hard to tell if I got a small fish on because I can't sit, change the settings where uh, small fish um, will trigger the rod bend, um, but I can't trigger that on a uh, cart rod. Yeah, because feeder rods have options. You know, you, if you want to set it to high sensitivity or low sensitivity, it's all up to you, but you cannot do that with cart rods. Oh, we got the line moving on line number one. You see what I mean? You see what I damn mean? It was going across water again, and there's nothing on here. Like, I'm not sure there's ghost fish in there or something. I'm not sure. That's weird. We got something on here. Another bream. Goodness gracious. You, I tell you one thing. You won't starve at this place. At this spot. You're a survivalist. Build a campfire right here and throw all the bream in that campfire and, uh, have a good feast for tonight. There's Nace. Okay, usually Nace are more active in this. Maybe it's because the oh the sun's out now. So maybe I'm not sure. Maybe the Bream kicked them out. I'm not sure. I'd rather not. I'd rather Nace is over Bream, but <laughs> that is all right. It all depends on the day, I guess. Yeah, another Bream. Hallelujah. Yeah, yesterday I caught like probably like probably I'm not lying to you 80 90 naces from this spot exactly in probably two hours like it was insane it was it was like bream today but with nace yesterday like, it was insane another bream oh my goodness I'm curious how much silver we're gonna make of all this bream come to daddy holy all right you see that okay I bet you anything is nothing on that line. It's moving, right? It's moving. You know, I'm just gonna tighten the line out. I don't trust it. I'm not falling for that again. Not a chance. Nice try. You don't really have to wait too long for a bite. There's usually a bite on one of them at least. Yep, there's something on line two. Another bring. Holy. A lot of rain, man. You're gonna have enough bream to feed an entire town, a village. Jeez Louise. Right, there we go. Oh, come on! You guys seen that? I got robbed again. Oh my goodness. Would you stop robbing me? Oh, please. Yeah, just because I see the line move now, I don't care. The line's moving, but there's, there's nothing on there. Huh, this is a weird spot. Maybe it's the current moving it? I'm not sure. Look at it. I see it moving. Unless I'm blind. Huh. It's probably the current. Oh, we got something on. Oh, there was something on the whole time. Never mind. A Ruffy. Alright. You'd love to see Ruffy fight during the day. Because they're definitely not a daytime fish. Let me guess, another bream? Yep. <laughs> Damn. Fifty-eight fish. Holy. Alright. You can also catch daces at the spot. I forgot to mention that. Um, last spot. Um, fishing southeast. Um, not towards the weeds. You can get a lot of dace as well. I was, uh, well, on Seversky Donuts River, I was two grams off a trophy dace. I was so furious. I got a 248 gram dace. I was really mad. Because you know how hard a dace trophy is to get? They're really rare. And I was two grams off. Yeah. But you can catch dace here. I've caught like 150, 200 gram naces at, uh, not naces, daces at uh, that spot over there. You can catch them here too, but more rare. See, this is more of a spot you go to when, uh, say, spot number one over there is all fished out. Then you come to this spot. Because I would probably prefer the other spot than this one. But you can catch some juicy stuff out of this spot as well. Another bream. Oh, my. i got to be close to fishing all the bream out under that tree. Right? I'm pretty close. There's no way there's much left. This is a pretty pap jam river, i got to say. Like, holy... 
What we got here? Oh, something on line three. Yeah. Another roach? Yep. Okay. Oh, come on. That rob was banning like there was no tomorrow. You guys seen? Maybe I'm just impatient. Maybe we gotta let it go, um let it flow down the stream a little bit. Dang it, that was a kind that was a big bend too. Damn it. Okay, whatever. That is what it is. I had a huge one on. Go back to your position. Hopefully it doesn't take too long for the next bite. Shouldn't. We have 62 fish. We go to our keep net. This is all what we got so far. We did get a donuts roughly the very first fish. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully you guys and girls have better luck than I do with the donuts roughly. Because I've been on the hunt for one for a long time. Another bream. Thank you. You know what? That bream right there paid 170 to 250 XP. That is not too bad if you consistently get them in with a lower plot level. Ooh, what is this? Another chubby? 684 chub. All right, all right. No, I see that line move. I'm not falling for it again. No, I don't know. I don't know what's with line number one. Why is it flowing down the river a little bit and the other two isn't? What kind of weight do I have? No, it's the heaviest weight. Huh. I don't know. That it's um, Rod one is acting weird. Oh, we got something on line two, I think. No. Okay, so this this river does play games with you. Just because the line's moving does not mean you go to fish on. This is really weird. It's a beautiful sunny day at Winding Rivulet. Um, we got the birds flying. We got the frogs chirping. We got the wind blowing at two miles an hour. Beautiful. You know, I kind of want to go swimming in this, but same time it's pretty murky and i can't see what's below so i don't know i don't like swimming when i can't see below me um this part this is probably leech and fasted waters um so no thank you let's go to, let's go to tools let's go do do some shovel scoops hopefully for that cocker flare larva and no we got red worms okie dokie oh we got all three lines going off here hallelujah look at daddy what do we got? 651. So like, yeah, see, like 316 total XP. If you consistently bring these in, that adds up, you know. That really does add up. What is this? Another brain. Oh my goodness. What is with the damn brain, dude? Oh my goodness. If anyone wants to experiment the spot out, put some honey dough on, garlic dough, cottage cheese dough on, and let me know how the spot goes with it. I'd be interested to know. I'm curious. Because all I'm getting is bream. And I never, I never tested it. Does bream pay a lot of money if you catch a lot of them? We're going to find out today. We got something on. Nope. I got my I, eyes keep playing tricks on me. My line's moving, but there's nothing on. It's just a current, I guess. But there is something on line number three. You've got to be kidding me. I got robbed again. What is going on? Are you guys seeing that? It was going back and forth. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure if there's a ghost spot or something. I don't know. Because this this area, man, plays plays games with you. Very weird. I don't trust that. Okay, good. There is a roach. Nope. I'm just curious. Why is this line moving so far over there? It's the only line doing it too. Like, wh which one has it? Um, No, not that one. This one has only a 40 gram weight and it's sitting still. This one has a 130 gram and it can't sit still. Like, what is going on here? This, this is a weird spot in general. It's a haunted spot, I guess. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh. Nope. Ooh, oh, well, oh, oh, we got something on my feet here. Another chub. All right. All right, we got 69 fish in the keep. Now, you know what? Forget it. I like that number. <laughs> we're going to cash out. We're going to cash out with 69 fish. All right. Okay, so, yeah, this is spot number two. Spot number one is right here. And then, yeah, I'll see you all back when I reach the cafe and fish market. All right, we are back at the cafe. We got some noisy dogs in the distance. Sup, dog? All right, fish market. The cafe is over here. I just want to see. What's on the menu today? I'm hungry. I don't, I don't know. Is this silver? Or is that dollars? I'm not sure. What is that? I, I cannot read Russian. Is that like a, an extra large coffee right there? Uh, I'll take an extra large coffee. Um, two cream, no sugar, please. Um... I'll also take a croissant. Thank you. Um, make sure it's buttered on there as well. Thank you. Um, and I will take. Oh, is that a? I'll take a cup soup. Um, chicken noodle, please. Thank you. That will be twenty dollars, please. Twenty dollars and fifty cents. All right. Um, twenty dollars fifty cents. All right. One second. There you go. Thank you, sir. Your order will be fulfilled in about five ten minutes. Stand by. All right. So we got our order fulfilled. We're gonna have some coffee, some danishes, some croissants. And a cup of soup. All right. So while we're waiting on that, we're gonna sit down here, eat our, enjoy our meal. The hell's that? I have no idea. It's an axe. Oh. All right. Well, we're gonna sit down here. Can we access this grill? No. Okay. So when our food is ready, we're gonna sit down here and eat it. Um, he said five, ten, fifteen minutes. So we'll wait for that. But let's go. Oh wait, wait. <laughs> uh, let's see how much fish we got. We got a river mussel, yes, by weight. Sell so this one. All right, we got to get the hand dandy calculator out. Because we all know I'm bad at math here. All right, so we got 3.79 plus no Chinese sleeper, no gibble. We got some roughies. Two, there we go. And that was for 6.58. All right. Common roaches, yes. For those, and that's uh six dot seven four. All right, no tenches, no burbot, no bleak. Oh, we didn't get that size though. That would be nice and juicy. All right, um, not quite ready yet. Okay, and let's see how much we got a hundred and three silver plus okay, plus a hundred and three dot ninety six. So we made in roughly 20 minutes, 25 minutes, we made 121 silver. You know, when you're just a low level and you just entered the game after the tutorial, 121 silver for 25 minutes, 20 minutes, that is not bad at all, considering you don't have any much maps to go to. So for winding, that is not bad. Um, you could probably get more than that if you stayed longer, if you stayed longer at the first spot, maybe. Um, yeah, that's that's amazing. So let's go ahead and sell this off. Um, that's one way to earn silver when you just unlocked Winding a Mosquito after the tutorial. So yeah, our food's ready. I'm, I'm going to go eat and all that. So I'll catch you guys and gals back, um, well, later next stream. Um, yeah, but after I end the, end of, did I say stream? Oh man, I've been recording, I'm making too many, um, uh, not making, um, I've been streaming too much. <laughs> um, not streaming, um, I'll catch you in the next video. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go eat it for a bit, eat some soup. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the very next episode of Rushing Fishing 4. If you enjoyed, please remember to smash the thumbs up. Hit the bloody hell out of the subscribe button. We reached, six, reached 600 subscribers. All thanks to you guys and gals. Thank you so much. I love you all. And I'll see you all on the very next episode of Rushing Fishing 4. Take care.